Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to Zero Page on Brew. Hey, Welcome friends. to Erlen. And uh, we're playing some new games on classic consoles at 60 frames a second. Make sure you're set to 60. It does frames. make a big difference. It does. And especially on YouTube, since they're still not transcoding properly yeah. at uh, 1080p or 720p. But 480p is fine. But the other ones, the audio strays over time. Ooh. It's really weird that they can't. They don't know how to re-encode 60 frames a second properly down to 30. I guess it's not a standard a lot of people use, you know? Not, on, not on YouTube. It um, makes sense. It's just because we're doing something very specific that's required of it. But, but they yeah. do. But they do use it, and you'd think YouTube would take that into account... It's a good point. When re-encoding... It's also a magical service that somehow manages to encode yeah. like five different versions of <laughs> low, medium, high yeah, of all like... for free. Of billions and billions of videos. Just tons and tons of minutes and hours now. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. The stream is now starting. Paper Mario, welcome to all the people in the chat and all the people lurking and yeah. all the people watching later on YouTube. That's 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 key too. We you don't guys. know your names on YouTube, but we're gonna say out the names that totally. are watching right now. If you right ever want to hang out, come by. Or you yeah. ever want to type in a chat or say anything like that, we're always down. Yeah, we're broadcast live on Wednesdays and Fridays normally. Different times. You'll have to check uh, the Atari Age forum for the times. Um, yeah, they should be able to do that yeah. properly. It's really no excuse. I can do it on my computer. <laughs> it's true. It's a setting that they just have not fixed, and nobody. Like, a lot of people have complained about it on the internet, too, because I've looked it up. And it's like, no, they just haven't fixed it. It's years, years yeah, ever, since we started this broadcast. I think longer videos, too, really, truly suffer. I've noticed that's, that as well. That's it, probably a factor, because 10 minutes long, it doesn't stray as much. You know, right. it strays more and more over time. So, a, like, a two-hour thing that we do, I think it's going to be way I off. I think they do almost want to discourage, like, long-ass stuff as well. They actually don't. They don't? No. It oh, because there's more ads? More ads. Oh, say, uh, man, they got to fix that shit, man. What used the to fuck be... you do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it used to be. It's just not a lot of people broadcast at 60, so they just don't care. It's not prioritized, yeah. I guess. But, yeah, it used to be short videos used to be, like, the big thing. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, somebody could watch a short video, watch it, get in and out. Now they're like, nope, we monetize it. There's ads every X minutes. More the longer you watch, better the, the happier more we are. Wow. Happier we are, and you know, longer videos, I guess, tend to keep the people there longer, because oh, the next video might not be interesting to you, so you might just go ah close. But if you're on a video that you like, you'll watch it for two hours. That's a great like point. One. Um, so hello to all the people watching live. Paper Mario, Repentless VG. Thrust26, who's having some issues right now with his connection, so hopefully he'll oh, no. be stable. Okay. He's got it stable right now, so That's let's good. hope. And uh, I supposed to as well, yes. um, and everybody else who's lurking. YouTube had a big update today. Wouldn't that be hilarious if as we were talking, it got fixed? <laughs> I'd love it. <laughs> that would be <laughs> so be amazing. great. Um, Here we are, someone's like, post, I don't, see, I don't see a problem. I yeah, just I uploaded. Find... Yeah. What are you guys talking about? YouTube had a big update. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, hopefully. Uh, all those Twitch subscribers, thank you. Boil over, boil overs. I'm gonna pronounce it boil overs, even though it's it looks much worse. Okay. okay. Um, the census taker, coconut eighty one. Census takers new. Dietrich Harms, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Ice Boasted, Johnny WC twenty three, Carl G, Croco twenty six hundred, Matthias J G Santos, oh, M K dude. Smith. Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, RC7E, Repentless VG, Sir Cat, like Spartan 581, Spiceware, Estramares 2008, and Tiki, Dan K, and you can subscribe for free as well if you have Amazon Prime. Link it to Twitch Prime. Click subscribe. You'll get your name read out. You'll Amazing. support us. I can buy some video games to play in the show. Everybody's happy. Um, so the games we're going to be playing today two uh updates to some work in progress yeah games. i recognize one of them i know i play them but it's it's yeah. like ages and ages ago yeah first on robot city we played in 2018 yeah. and it was actually an old version of the game from 2006 my, I have my, my notes okay. here so it's an it's an update and this is a brand new update that of a game that hasn't been updated in like 13 years okay so that's exciting that news. is very exciting um, we're going to be playing Running Man by Bob Montgomery, a.k.a. V-Dub Bobby. 
And we have an update to the Venture Reloaded hack uh, by Omega Matrix, and we're going to try and complete the game. We'll see how we do. I think, I think I remember this one. It's a yeah. hard one. but And I got halfway through it um, playing it on the computer the other day. So okay. I think it's possible. We're going to give it a good try anyway. Um, so I've got a package here. It's not 2600 related, but it's a video game. Let's see what it and is. And it's always fun to open stuff on camera, you know. I need scissors. Yeah, it's from uh, Limited Run Games, which is lots Ooh. of fun. Well, that didn't work completely. Pull tab. Let's see what the game is. So whenever they uh, put out a nice uh, shooter or a platformer, I'm always, pick up I'm always down for that. And it is Celeste, which is an excellent platform game. Damn, it and looks like an well anime vibe, one. too. Am I, it looks, you know, like yeah. just, the, just the art and everything. It feels like a little Japanese, like yeah. a little Full Metal Alchemist. You Help know. Madeline survive her inner demons on her journey to the top of Celeste Mountain in the Very super tight, style plot too. handcrafted platformer from the creators of multiplayer classic Towerfall. So you always get a little... Little extras in there, a little, little trinket. play card. Yeah, but I have a massive amount of limited run games that are waiting upstairs, unwrapped, <laughs> that I need to play. <laughs> but that's another one. But I was usually buy. Yeah, the I don't think you have a limit of games. I think no. I think I think if you, if you stopped buying games right now, you'd probably be good oh, for the forever. rest of your life. <laughs> Literally for the rest of my life. Yeah. So, but that's the goal, you know. One day I'll have some more time. Probably never, because. In my line of work, um, in our line of work, you, you never really stop. No, you just keep like, going. Like, you look at directors of movies yeah. and people work in the movie industry, unless they just... they're doing, like, the, the laborious jobs, but the creative side of it, they just keep going till they die. Literally cannot yeah. do it anymore. Well, even you have actors. to grind so long before you get the, like, the privilege That's and opportunity true. to even begin. <laughs> like, you know, like, Michael Haneke is a famous director who started his career really in his 60s. Like, that's the thing is, like, Jeez. he started being able to make movies in his 60s. It does take that long um, sometimes. Yeah. Some, some people get really lucky and start in their 20s, but usually it's, like, 40s or 50s before you can do, like, the big movies that, you know, people can see that's a tough path too starting in your 20s i think as well because then yeah. really you're learning in front of millions of people which can be really <laughs> difficult yeah like i think so, a lot of those younger directors they sometimes also don't ha really mature either you know they sort of end up mm. staying in this place and they keep trying to remake the same things and yeah it, it can be actually like dark too it's like because i think living a life and having like shit to say that's it, big part of the job it is and that's that's tough but you know pe people usually write what they know totally and maybe it's from a naive point of view when, but, you're, when you're doing it early but maybe they hopefully they're knowledgeable enough to know that it's from a naive point of view and writing within the scope that works for them you know writing a movie about a naive point yeah, of view just embracing whatever <laughs> fucking place they're at yeah so we're going to jump right into the games, because that's all I got. Sounds good. Um, so the first one is Robot oh, yeah, City. Oh, yeah, new show, man. Uh, Normally it's like an boom. hour of <laughs> talking. It's yeah. good. we gotta, we got to kick the pace up. Yeah, I love so it's, it. it's great. Um, so the first one's Robot City by Thomas Yench. Oh, great. And this is great, because he updated it just a couple days ago. Um, he updated it two days ago, but once a uh, day before. This is a f very tight 4K game. Lots of fun. So we did a bunch of updates, which I'm going to go through. So let's load it up and uh, check out what the changes are, because I think it's about 13 years. Wow, cool, since man. Since his last update. And I I played it on the show. And I'll, I'll get into it. But um, that's that's one of the beauties of of this show, is that this is, this is another example. It has happened <laughs> before, where I play the game on the show that's just old archived game and 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 the developers like that was a good game yeah, the, the you know, lazarus touch man may, maybe maybe yeah it needs to be uh, updated we'll take another look at it it's like oh yeah this is a good game um so let's just switch over one second everyone get this yeah, ready popping over in this Actually, side it has a nice little uh, animation so i'm gonna show that coming in too yeah we gotta do the whole gig oh tennis no there we go. Robot City. That's proper now. Okay. So here we go. Robot City. Here we go. Boom. Very nice. Nice little animation. So it's got a bunch of levels. So we're going to... Oops. 
We're going to start on level one, because I believe that's easiest. Thank God. Yeah. I'm gonna need so it. you should be able to start with the button. Yeah, he knows what he's doing, Tom Sienge. Okay, you gotta hit these guys from behind. It's gonna turn down just a bit, so I'm gonna pause you for a second. There you go. Yes, yeah, so there's only two two dudes here. I got um, a time limit as well. Yeah, you got a time limit, and you gotta hit them from behind. Um, they can't. I don't know if the options okay. are repair. They can repair themselves on this level, but if they touch each other, they can repair. Get in there. Get in there. You can get them. Don't get too close. There you go. Don't touch them. Don't touch them. Oh, oh. oh no. I think you're dead. Rip. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, you can't shoot them from the front. You can only get them from behind. Okay, oh, cool. he's, still, he's still paused. Okay, okay so that's like... This is level one vibes, for sure. Oh, yeah. Because we played it last time, and it was like... it was. Oh, he's going to... I don't know if it's set to rescue him. We'll see. We'll see in a second. Nope. Okay, this this level's not set for rescuing. Probably the kid's difficult to be perfect for me. Yeah, it is a challenging game, but super fun. Oh, Ooh, God. I don't think you'll be able to get him. He's going to turn around. Yeah. I would, I would just stay out of the way and then hope. I would go down because they always follow you a bit. Yeah, see, so he you seems... Kind of... So it's interesting. Right now we're in like a... I'm gonna fix this loop. So if you go up, he'll come up out of there. Um, so this is a 4K game, which is amazing. This build is from two days ago. This game was first mentioned in the Atari Age forums. There you go. Yeah, up, 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 up. Don't get behind. There you go. Just in time. Oh, you're shooting down. No. Oh. There you go. Okay. Um, this was first posted in 2002. So this game has been been worked on for 17 years. That's fucking that's, wild. That's one of the oldest work in progress I think there is. <laughs> because 2002 is the, the dawn of homebrew. Like It was only a couple years into homebrew. I think 97 was around the first homebrew. So, like, being a... He's gonna come straight for you. There, oh, maybe not. Oh, there is some little randomness. Why was it shooting down? There you go. Take that. So you can download out. this in the Atari H forums right now. Uh, other games that Thomas Yench has made. Uh, Star Castle Arcade, Toy Shop Trouble, Boulder Dash, Swoops, Mini Game Collection, Jam, Starfire, The Stacks, which we need to get back to. Stacks is an yep. intense game. It's a good game. A ton of trackball hacks, Ram Pong, Robot City, and Three Dots. Uh, we played this last uh, September 2018, so over Whoa. a year ago. So it's a good time to return to it. As Thomas wrote on Monday, uh, this idea is from a prototype for the Odyssey 2. I changed the game speed to have a bit more action, but the game, uh, basic game is identical. Uh, he wrote on Sunday, after the positive feedback from Zero Page Homebrew and this thread, I've news. decided to have another look at Robot City again when time permits. This took more than a whole year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's been a year. So after a 13 years break, over the last days, I've started working on the game again. Mainly to mature and optimize, I want to stay within 4K, which is a great idea to, to challenge yourself. This is, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, no! No, no, go. Oh my god, that was risky. The other guy was. What are you doing? Getting in front of him. I had to. Oh, come on. Wrong button. Wrong button. Green button, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. Two lives left. That's okay. Um, now the game has five variations. So it was before it was like on hard, medium. You can still shoot through them? I don't know. Can. can you shoot through them? No. It just blocks it. Uh, we're playing on the kids, which is the slowest. You have five lives, just two tanks, and no tank revive. Uh, okay. Risky. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, second level is easy. Uh, didn't Thomas Yentz make games back then in the 80s? No, not Atari 2600 games. No, I don't think so. Oh, he's in. He's in the chat. He's thrust 26. I lost interest due to the Jawfish thrust disaster. Oh, I can't remember much about that. I don't really got in. I barely remember that because we went through. We talked a lot about thrust when we played it. 
I can't remember if we got into any um, drama. Because I like to avoid the drama on the show. <laughs> yeah, man. Because there is drama in the Atari Age forums Because most, there. um, I mean, there's drama everywhere. Most, yeah. most shows lean into the drama. <laughs> I do. do appreciate that. Cause... Yeah, because I don't want to, I just don't want to get into it. I just like playing the games. And, and we're here for the games. We're here to, to bolster the community, not divide the community. Yeah, right? you know. We want to bring the community together. You know, any so keep it positive. Well, also keep there's the concentration there's on the never, games. Never ever an end to drama. No. And I also don't think that's actually really like what you want a fan base to be. I remember no. hearing what was it like a divided front or what is it? Was, I, I can't remember the the thing, but it was like a a union made through um, mutual hatred is faulty at best. <laughs> it's so yes. true. It's like if if you're just like if all your friends are like, yeah, my friends all hate the same things. <laughs> yes. It's like as are you really? Yeah, you're really that bonded together, and um, and then if we started in the drama, then we would be part of the drama. Correct. And then the drama would be about us. And that's what a lot of channels try and make it about. Is <sighs> they get they try and get involved in the drama, especially with people that say are, have a bigger channel than them. Yeah, if you so can... they try and leach on to other things. Running out of time. I know, yeah. I was doing actually fairly well, and then I keep missing a few, like, key turns. Oh, there you go. One more. You have time. Oh, yeah, you got it. You got it. Uh, you got it. Just in time. Save. Good game. Save. Save James O'Brien. Yes! This is the new platform, saving. man. <laughs> Let's read some more about this. Uh, update. Uh, the second level is easy, slow, five lives, three tanks, no tank revive. Middle is uh, on three is normal, uh, normal speed, four lives, all four tanks, no tank revive. Uh, level four is hard, which is fast, four lives, all four tanks, tanks revive each other. Expert is fastest, just three lives, all four tanks and tanks revive each other. So the first three levels, the tanks don't revive. Last two they do. Um, you get either five, four, or three lives. Uh, the lowest level has two tanks. Next one up is three, and the rest have four tanks. So we might play on at least hard, because, because we definitely want to play with tanks revive, because that's that's a nice, uh, interesting option. Also, the randomly generated sector mazes have become more difficult on average in harder games. I remember us playing last time. Some of the mazes were just like, how do you even... How is this even possible? How do you even get behind these tanks? They're brutal. Like, this one has so many turns. It's it's a lot easier. But you're also very open here. This is, this is a good balance. Uh, yes, game sound is ahead of the video stream. Sorry. Yeah, it is. Um, I haven't looked into that. Uh, because we're using... Uh, because we are using uh, the emulator right now. Um, turn down the audio in here a bit so it doesn't interfere. Um, yeah, I haven't uh, synchronized. I should because I keep thinking, oh, I'm going to fix the 2600. Yeah, you're like. So I'm like, oh, I won't fix it. But then it's been a couple months now because I've just been. Everybody's too, busy. Well, too much life stuff has been happening. You yeah. Know? You gotta get him out of that little, this little holding pattern oh, here. He could shoot him. Yeah, they. I had him. They could shoot each other. Yeah, I had him. I had that happen <laughs> at one point actually. Wow, that's a good. So tactic. I think he might leave or not. Okay, um, if he doesn't leave, I'm gonna get him. You're gonna have to jump in there. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Uh oh. No. Oh no. There he goes. Get in there. Nice. Bam. You're the guy that did Draconian. No, uh, uh, Daryl Spice Jr. Um, made Draconian. Uh, but he did audio for Draconian. Yes. Uh, is it possible to do digitized voices on the Atari 2600 without the Atari box? It uses up a lot of space, though. Because you think about this game is 4K, and how much uh, voice you can put in 4K is above that much. So you have to really compress it down and uh, optimize the sound. So it's it's quite something to do. But we played a game on Friday. Uh, not a game. No, we were looking at CMOS. 
Yeah. Was it Simo? Dude, Simo. I can't remember what we were looking at. It was a game that had fe f f phenomes? Ph ph Phenom? Phenomes. I don't, I don't know exactly what that means. It but. is uh, speech. It's the sound of speech, I believe. Anyway, it was made by, oh. with the Atari 2600 built-in sounds. Oh, you got to hurry. Oh, oh. Built-in sounds without break. digitization. Um, and emulating voice in some game that we played or some demo that we looked at. It was unbelievable. And it really, really worked. Yeah, it must have been Simo. Yeah. Uh, Simo's new game. Yeah. Um, or not the game that we can play because he hasn't posted it anywhere. He's just posted videos that he deletes two weeks later. <laughs> so good. So it's the mystery of Simo. We'll we'll get to the bottom eventually. Someday, man. Because I can't imagine he's making these games to uh, just post videos and never put it out. All that work. Um, I've still quite a long oh, no, uh, to-do list. To. Almost no sound. There's quite a bit of sound, but there's no shooting sound. Uh, no difficult. Oh, did you die? Yeah. No difficulty increase and high Yeah, scores. let's definitely increase this difficulty. We're going to four. Cause seriously. Now you're in trouble. Oh, and I can move faster oh, too. Oh, this is quite fast. Jesus. Yeah, they move fast too. Coming for you, Barbara. Oh God. <laughs> okay. Oh, there you go. Get him. Oh my oh, God. Oh, oh, I can't. I couldn't go through. Oh no. Sometimes this joystick really, like, yeah, you have to be like perfectly lined up sometimes. Use uh, use the angles, or it doesn't work. Oh god. It's only a four-way game. No, uh, that's good. And a few bugs. Nevertheless, uh, in my honest opinion, it's now a good time for releasing update feedback. Welcome. Another day, another update. Changes. Tank AI now depends on the game selected. Less targeted at the, at the player in lower levels. That's why they weren't going after you in that in the game number one. Oh, shit. <laughs> Speed increase with each cleared sector. We have a game now. So We do. Is I'm, I'm just so kind of overwhelmed. It's hard to, like, at the moment, <laughs> like, figure out which one's doing what. There's a lot going on. And see, now I'm fucked because they're both, <laughs> right? Like Yes, you are. Have gone. Oh, oh, no, you uh, Yeah. Uh, s uh, second player can control the tanks and overrule their AR. How about that? Damn. Okay. So, what? which one can I control? How do I control? Which one? Let's go down. Okay. Oh. It controls all of them. <laughs> So if I press down, they're always trying to go down. So let's go to the right. Let's see if that works. Oh, I'm like trying to get one and then I get fucking blasted by another. Airlines Tanya again. Oh, in the small. This shit ain't. Rip. Yeah, I can't move. You can't move? Oh, sorry. Let's reset. Yeah, no worries. I'm yet to even get one on this difficulty. <laughs> oh, it's really hard. Uh, well, yeah, it's, I wouldn't necessarily say, like, it's also my skill is not the greatest in either, um, because it's like, it's, but it's, but yeah, it's interesting. It's like, I'd have to scale up to this probably, because the first right. one's really easy, but this is like, so overwhelming, but like, I don't know, I'll be able to figure out like one, I bet. Like, see, now they're kind of separate, yeah. so at least I can... Oh, shit, I have him. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I, I was going to switch you to a lower one. Or we can do three, maybe. Three. Let's see if, like... Oh, there was a bug. How about the two-player option? Yeah, I just tried it, and it's pretty cool. So, with the two-player, uh, you control all the tanks. Um, so, if you press to the left, they will turn to the left when they can. If you press up, they'll go up if they can. Press down, etc, etc. So it's not like direct control, like the tanks still do their do their normal uh, I can't turn around, I can only go in one path. But, oh, let's see, uh, level 3, pretty good. Yeah, that, that it's was... just, it was also a decent map because the one of them was kind of, they were kind of separated. 
Um, so it was a little bit easier, I, I felt. Oh, whoa, that was close. <laughs> uh oh, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Oh, no. You made it. You made it. Oh, God. So I was really, really hoping that he would continue uh, working on this game. Up, up, up. There you go. Oh, get him down now. Oh. Yeah, because I think last time we played, it was like pretty much on the hardest level. Yeah, it was and, brutal. And like this is um, doable now. That level four was tough. Yeah, level three looks. Oh, oh. see, I'm just hard because it's chasing this guy, but then another guy sneaks up, right? Yeah, you, you have to have your them. eyes on every one of them. <laughs> it's where the, it's where if you manage to get two down, it's a lot easier. Yeah, and like if they accidentally kill themselves too. Yeah. Ah. There you go. Now you're down to two. Oh, see, it's hard. Sometimes you can't escape with this joystick. Other times it's like seamless. Yeah. I'm gonna play next and see if it's an eight-way game or a four-way game. If it's an eight-way game, you should be able to turn on angles and it'll go up. Ugh, see, it's, like, it's just hard sometimes with these games because like you have to make the decisions so fast. Yeah. And if you're and if you're like friggin' It'll go down. I'm not room there. There you go. Get him. Chase him around those corners. Oh, I'll figure I'll let him come. Ah, uh, okay. Yay! I love the the time bar that it's inside a little capsule. Oh shit! What? Oh. <laughs> I was just wasn't even I was wasn't even thinking. Oh. I love the tank shields. Yeah, they're really great. The, the simplicity of the characters, uh, the double height uh, characters, work really well in this. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, oh. Rip! Well, there you go. Oh. oh, you still wouldn't have had time even if you were on no. the left. And one of the other ones might have turned around, too. There you go. Oh. Um, Yeah, that noise that persists at the end after you die. I don't know if you want to... So melodic. Yeah. <laughs> and it continues on into the next game. Until, until you, you move. It. Yeah. Until you move. So that's a bit of a... bit of a bug. No, it's an eight-way game. If you press up to the angle, you, it'll... Uh... Cool. It's just sometimes at key moments, it's, it's not so easy. Yeah. But that's it's all the joystick. good. It's, it's the also joystick. like just getting used to like the the. It's the joystick for sure. Like you see, like that was one for example. Like you you were covered, but you could yeah. see that. So now this is tough because it's only one way. They're blocked. Yeah. Which has some benefits, but here. also um, you want to be careful where you kill this guy because you could actually totally wreck yourself. Yeah, that's true. You can block yourself in. Yeah, man, so we had your, um, uh, like uh with your retro gaming night. Yeah, so we had that on, uh, Saturday. And, um, I, it was really awesome. Oh. I, I, I got second it. place, man. Yeah, so we, um, what we do is I usually have three or four games that we have a high score contest for. And, oh, boy. And, uh, you know, we have ten points for first place. Oh, we're gonna get up there. Oh, no. Oh. Nine points per second, second etc. So we and then we added up at the end of the night, and we have a bunch of prizes that I accumulate through the it's joystick, accumulate through the year, and uh, then we give them away. And Erlen uh, came in uh, second place, which is awesome. Yeah, I got twenty-eight out of thirty. Yeah. So you got uh, first in one, and then, and then second, second, and then second, second which yeah. was like actually pretty decent. Um, and then, but this guy Corey, man, this guy's a friggin' beast. Yeah, he, he used to he just, play. He just stopped playing one of the games because <laughs> he was like, you basically get three goes at it, and, yeah. and then your best one goes. His first go on Burger Time, he got like 91,000, and then just stopped playing <laughs> because he's like, I think I won. Oh, it also took him a half an hour. So. Yeah, oh. so, and, just, and then he didn't even play any others, and like mine was like 20 like 21,000 was what I got. Yeah, I'm like, that's that's here. a huge nope. difference. When someone beats you by like four times <laughs> the amount. Oh, nice. 
Nice. This is gonna be interesting, though. You're gonna have to just wait for him to come. Yeah, I'm gonna have to lure him up here. Oh, I can do it over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can do it here. Um, so the games were um, Burger Time for... It was ColecoVision and Vectrex that were the focus. Um, so it was... I'm a bit faster now. Burger Time for Coleco. And also Pepper 2 for Coleco. Which is a fun maze game. And then the Vectrex one was Web of War? Web Wars. Web Wars, man. Oh, God. That was a fun one. But oh, that was God. really hard. Yeah, you're fucked. <laughs> Trap myself. That one I had to watch other people play it for a while because it yeah, was like trying to. Yeah, it's not straightforward. You have to do a couple things in it that are. Just and my like... first one I did like the best that I that I done, and it was like he won by like a very marginal amount on that one, because the thing was is that, um, yeah, and I I was first in Pepper, which which was uh, okay. surprised me because that Pepper too, because I actually didn't even do that great. Like I totally could have. Um, like even doubled my score if I had like had another couple goes at it, which was like that was weird. Yeah. Um, but I but I also think that like um, he hadn't really like I think if he'd like, seen my scores and really wanted to beat them, yeah. I guarantee you he could have. Oh yeah. Because he's just a better player than me. Like it's just. I mean, he works in the video game industry. Oh totally. And I saw him. He went to your birthday, and I saw yes. him play some oh, yeah. some games in the arcade too. And that guy seriously. Well, he used to own a bunch of arcade cabinets, so yeah, man. he's fully into. You should you should get him on with a show sometime. Get him to do one of like one of because it's cool to see someone who's really good at these games. Oh, there's uh, it's automatic shooting, so you can just. Uh... Oh, that's probably that's a little bit easier. Yeah, that'll help a lot. I didn't even realize that. Cause yeah, what's the, there's down no, the button? There's no down. I guess if you're shooting really far away. Yeah, then it takes a while to recover your shot, but... Oh, come on! No! He hit that other guy while he was turning! Mm -hmm. Not bad. And that was on level 3, so let's... I think we level 3 is very doable. Or is it level 4? It says no, no. no, yeah. I think. Level 3? Let's see. Yeah, yeah. it was level 3. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, level this four this, is this ain't an easy maze. This no, one. very long corridors make it very hard. But at Boy, the beginning of the night, things. while I was cleaning up the house for the uh, preparations, I um, I rolled my ankle, taking down boxes down some stairs, because the boxes were I couldn't see the stairs. Shit, man. And, oh, uh, God damn it. See, this is a hard maze. This is one of the harder mazes I've seen. I don't quite know how to do this one yet. So this foot, my right foot, um, I couldn't see the stairs, so I just, I missed a stair, totally flipped my ankle, <laughs> my foot, upside down. Oh, they're killing themselves. Well, that's good news. One of them... Oh, they revived two on this level. That's hard. Hard, hard, hard. Level four is hard. Well, I don't know how to do this yet, because it's a lot of... It's hard to know how to lure these guys. Yeah. That guy you'll get. You Maybe. Go. I mean... Oh, it's, it's hard. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard. The long quarters are hard. Well, this is like... I don't... I don't really know what my strategy is yet. And also, when you get them... The other guys are just gonna... You're gonna start boxing in yourself. There you go. So at least we got one. Yeah, I would definitely lure a guy up to that one as well, and then the bottom one, and then that one maybe. Yeah. That's a good one. Um. Once once you get like you gotta one... go down there and, and lure them out. They're just they're just trying to get up to you that way, and they'll never come out of that maze. That's a good point. So it's, that's hard. There. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. There he... Oh, my God. He just missed him. There we go. Now you got him. Anyway, my ankle is uh, getting better. Um, I can walk on Ankles it. Ankles suck, man, when those get blown out. Yeah. That sucks. I can walk on it now. Um, I can't twist it too much. Get out of the way. I made the wrong choice. Yeah. Loop around, loop around, loop around. 
Actually, that's pretty good. It, it keeps them down there, and you can lure them out one by one. Now you can get this one. Yeah, it's just time, though, is, is going to be the challenge, because... You definitely have enough. Oh, there you go. Just keep running behind. Whoa. Nice! Yay! Okay, that was a hard one, though. Whew! Okay, now, I don't know if this is even any easier. They have a lot more paths to get to you. I think they're just gonna gang up on you. Yeah. Oh, boy. Fuck. Oh, boy. Run, 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 run. Go get that orange guy. Ugh, oh, see, yeah. Damn it. It's not much. If that red guy went up, you would have been able to go and get that orange guy. I hope it doesn't hurt too much. It, it, it doesn't hurt... Uh, anymore, unless I twist it too much one direction. But it's the problem is it's really still very puffed up. Mm. So I'm thinking I actually going to the doctor soon. Swelling's gone down a bit, but not enough. And it's been Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, four days. And I'm thinking it should have the swelling should have gone down by now. doing that? Yep, they are. Oh, there you go. There's some randomness to it. It's whenever they, um, just don't let them touch their friend. Oh, no. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, no. The other guy was there. That's a rat. Oh, that one. Damn. Oh, that guy's gonna revive his friend. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, good. Okay. So I might be able to get I'm the green get guy. I'm gonna get up, though, man. Feel it. Yeah, they're kind of coming. Well, yes. Okay. I gotta run out of time. Got quite a bit left still. Go get uh, the orange guy. Yeah. Let's see if you can get that. Get that green guy up, hopefully. Up, 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 up. up. So he definitely doesn't do it. Perfect. Don't get too close. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the Sisyphus fucking game. It is. When the, with the revival, it's just like, ah, oh, they're all back again. But if you're up, he won't go down. I'm just trying to... I'm, I, that one, I, I, I think I successfully totally trained him. You did. But if you are... Uh, he has the choice of going left or right, though. Now we're fucked. He should have been more to the left, then he wouldn't have turned right. As far as I know, it shouldn't be as random on these higher levels. I haven't had a chance to play two-player option, but it sounds fun. Uh, yo, do you know these? Uh -huh. It's a great joke. Whoa, okay, I'm fucked. It's about ten years old, that joke, and... Look at this! Should be retired. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. Two-player option. Let's do... Are you still have one guy left? Yeah. Okay. We're going to play... This is I'm going to play the two-player option on level one against you. Okay. And the follow-up. Yeah, you sure got us, Mr. Cookiest23. What? I didn't even get... I... He, uh... Made a just atrociously old, oh. terrible joke. A classic... Oh, is yeah, that it? That's it. Okay, so let's go back to level one. And go for it. And I will control the robo robots, and I will try and get you. Okay. You control all of them? Yes, all at once. So I'm going to make your life difficult. hard because uh, you move way faster than I do. Let's see, then you can catch up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> level two is...
can't revive, so... Not in this, no. You, you lose some serious tactic. Tactical yeah, I can't revive to level there. 4, and level 4 is hard enough without controlling the guys. Oh, what? Oops. Oh, no! Okay. <laughs> I shot myself. I'm thinking the uh, helicopter has an advantage. I'm just <laughs> throwing that out there. This ah. level, yes. I just can't move fast enough to run away from. Yeah, me. like I. I'm gonna go to level two. Let's have three guys then. Let's try this. Yes, an updated version of Robot City, where two people can play. The assault on <laughs> Precinct 13 music, kick that in, <laughs> and you're good to go. Doesn't matter the genre, ah. romantic comedy, <laughs> Meg Ryan, <laughs> that do, might do, not do, do, work. <laughs> <laughs> I think oh, has... Tom Hanks. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Damn, it's so hard being the tanks. So slow. Yeah, it's like, it's actually, um, but level one and two are good training levels. Yeah, it scales really nicely. Yeah. Yeah, see, this is where I might be fucked. Yeah, wrecked. Yes! <laughs> yeah, when you... Yeah, I just gotta be careful not to... Put yourself into a... Into a dicey position. To use my uh, numbers as an advantage. There we go. That's what you gotta do when you're playing the tanks. Yeah, surround the surround. subject. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> but you have to be really careful when with the tanks because you're moving both at once. So when they come to a decision point. You have to make sure you are making the right decision for all the tanks at the same time. Yes, it controls all the tanks at once. So if you press to the right, they will all go to the right when they can. Yeah, when there's just one, um, I have a huge advantage. Oh my god, yes. Have a coffee. Good. Ah! <laughs> See, that's where my joystick was not on my side. To watch all the tanks at once when you're. Oh. This is a hard one, actually. I think it's fairly easy to surround me. With this one, yeah. Uh, a little bit more so. But even then, maybe not. Oh. See, if you let go of the joystick. They will make their own decisions. Ah, oh, no, now I'm dead. <laughs> I think it's when it's like... When it's, it's, it's yes and no. I mean, they could still go. No, no. Maybe if I get... Uh, Bam! So let's go, let's take it up to level, level three. It doesn't have revival, but I have four tanks. Yeah, this is, this is where um, I even struggle against the computer. It's just a lot harder with all these people. Yeah, like, look, I'm already trapped. It feels like. <sighs> yeah. It's like, I don't <laughs> it's just know. A lot of enemies, especially when they have some. some and this is a. I find AI that, like, when there's them. four, in all honesty, like, the map has a huge impact over, it, over how hard this game it is. Definitely does. Because, like, right here, it's very difficult for me to, like, figure out a strategy. It's very hard to control four tanks at once. 
Ah, oh, no! At least I got one. That's something. It is, yeah. And if you revive, though, that's where it would get oh. fucking... It would almost be Cause impossible. Because I'd, I'd be able to actively revive See, my I think tanks. I'm dead now, because um, you're just going to surround me. But see here, that that was a good strategy because I would have gotten him, but now because you had the second tank, I couldn't go down and get him. Yeah, you have to use more than tank, one tank at a time to. Uh... Oh no, 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 no! Damn it! Okay, regroup, regroup, tanks. Regroup. New plan. See, New plan. revive though would be just ruthless. deadly, deadly with a with a with a human player. Yes. yes. Rip. No, no, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, now it's over. Maybe. I mean, I just gotta. I just gotta. Damn it! Long corridors are your uh, friend and enemy. Yeah, it's like it just depends on who you got. Okay, okay, good stuff. But do that Vetrex is a beautiful fucking system, man. Oh yeah. It's just Gorgeous. very very special system because there's almost nothing like it. There, there literally is nothing like it except for the arcade. Literally. Like, it's just really cool to see this, like, you know, this vector-based game. It's, it looks like you're playing with, like, raw electricity. <laughs> that's what it feels like. Yeah, you are. Like, playing with a dot that's drawing things on the screen. I mean, that's what this is, too, as well, but... Except oh, this is... Oh, oh, okay, good. I can't get past it. <laughs> Definitely a factor, um, yeah, so like, no, ah, oh, damn it, I knew I shouldn't have brought him down that far, and now I'm dead, so you can just speed around. Uh, no. Yay, Too okay. Slow. Okay. Let's play level four with me. See now, now I can revive. Now I'm dead, and it's faster. New tactic. Let the wookie win. No, I don't know. What are my tactics? <laughs> I don't win. even know what to do here. Like, cause right here, I feel like I'm almost already surrounded, and we haven't even started. You know? Yeah. And you're just gonna revive these people, and my joystick. Oh no! Even. Just shot myself. Don't matter too much. Yeah, you're just gonna surround me. <laughs> and I can't go through there. So like, <laughs> look at this conundrum. What a what a rough map to get. This one on this really one. Really rough. Because like map. I don't quite know. And also like that guy landing like right there. Like I think you're just gonna surround me. Like I don't know what I can do. Because because yeah. also if I go into there, my exit point is gone. Yep. So like, um, basically, I have to go around here. And I guess I, I gotta get in the middle. I think is the only way I'm gonna survive this. But then the middle is the, yeah. <laughs> Rip. Okay. That's okay. A tough oh, and one. it's the same map. Oh god. And I'm done because he's surrounded. Um, I gotta get. A brutal, the, brutal I think map. the only option is to be in the middle. But like, I also don't know how I'm gonna get in the middle. Okay. Well, this isn't it. Oh, long corridors. Oh, and with God. four of you guys and, like, one of my little rafflecopter. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, no. Green, get back. Get back here. Get here. back here. Don't Green. get out there without your friends. That's not going to be a good time. Okay, I'm just going to chill. But then, I, but, then I, but then also I have a time restraint, so I have to Ooh, kill that you is guys. that's true. So, I like, I have that. so many disadvantages to this one. Okay, guys, we're chilling in this corner then. Shit. Hey, you... no. Why did you... No, 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 what no, you... no, no. Why are you doing orange? Get back, get back, get back. Oh, fuck, but then this guy's there? Oh, like... blue. Okay, go after him then. You're dead, you gotta move. Oh, what are you doing? Then, well, I tried to, <laughs> but my controller wouldn't send me. 
Well, actually, yeah, I can just chase you. You can just chase me and... If you make the wrong move or not get ahead of uh, quick enough, the quarters are going to screw you. Oh, yeah. Because it takes too long. Or they can... Screw you. But then you can just revive yourself, so fuck, man. And now I just blocked my own escape route. Let's do the revival. Oh, no, no, no! Revive! No! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Looks like a solid anti-flickering routine. Yeah, like you can't even. No! Oh no! No! Revive! Get him! Oh, oh my god! Okay, that was just a bit of luck. But, uh, yeah, because you're it's so jacked against me when there's four of you <laughs> that is. like I, I seriously have to just get a bit of luck because it basically luck got me two and then I was like okay now I can now I can do this like I know how to do this now. Oof. Ah. Oh god damn it. it! But this is hard here because I have to sort of go around I think, and yeah. you can just revive yourself. Oh no! Sometimes the AI is a bit better. Than I am. <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay. There's no anti flicker in here. Tanks flicker at 30. Everything else is missiles and balls. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. So they are flickering. The tanks are always flickering at 30. Oh, the helicopter is not made up of player character. Oh, that's how you're doing it. You can't even see the flicker. That's because I have the phosphor on. Oh yeah, it's still subtle enough. That's really good. Okay, one more of this. Then I'm going to play level four. This is dicey. Coming for you. This is very dicey. Ugh. <laughs> Very, very dicey situation. It's actually a really good two player game. I didn't think it was gonna be Yeah, enjoyable. I thought it was I thought it was gonna be impossible, but I just got you twice in a row, so that does Yeah, I thought it was gonna be too too uh, heavy on my side. Shit. Oh you're trapped. You trapped yourself, didn't you? Oh god. <laughs> oh shit. Whoa! Forgot about these guys all the way across there. Damn. Here, actually, you play. Uh, you play the computer. And oh, okay. You'll see how it is. It's really interesting because you can control them all at once. Oh, what the hell? Oh, had that. Wow, weird. I don't really even... Damn. You are, you are understanding the controls of the... Yeah, tanks. it's it's, it's just... It's weird controlling it's, four at once, it's right? It's just like a weird, like, tactical thing, you know? No, 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 no. Damn it. Yeah, it's such an advantage when you have all four, oh and then such God, a disadvantage yes. when you have only, like, a couple... Oh, no, no, no. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, no. Not reviving him. No, no, no. They're still. One. Whoa, get too close. Damn. Okay, 
good. <laughs> Move on to the next game. No, it's too fun. <laughs> we, will, we will. We will right after this. Uh, we will. Yeah, we're, we're close, buddy. Don't worry. <laughs> Sorry, it's a lot of fun. You guys should definitely download this game. Blast. Oh, I reset. Oh, God. Yes. No, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no. I forgot that I could revive, and I'm like, yeah, new tactic. <laughs> oh, yeah, you want all your tanks. those tight corners where I just don't have enough time to get to, get to you. Come on. Come on. Oh, you survived. This is not an easy man. Lots of turning for you, which I can't get you when you're turning. It's like a very balanced game. Come on, over here. No. <laughs> this is the. I was like Damn new. It. I was like new tactic. Revive. Always revive. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And guess where I'm headed? To revive blue? Yeah. yeah. Running out my time. There we go. Yes. Last life. And we're done. Oh, it got green? I got and then I run it, ran it to him again. Bad move, red. Maybe. Oh, blue! No, no, no! No, no, no! No, no! No! <laughs> oh. Now. Oh, no what direction to turn. Yeah, I'll catch up with you before you provide me. Just. Oh man, it's doing better that time though. Okay, we're gonna move on now. Time for the Running Man. The running Man. Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. <laughs> Don't know if it has any tie-ins. Probably not. So uh, incredible, incredible, Thomas. Great. Yeah, great very update. cool game. That, Fuck. That two-player uh, option just adds so much complexity to the game. One of the best two-player games I've played. So much fun. Yeah, and and it's a, a two-player game that you have different options for the two players. You can have two tanks, three tanks, revival, four tanks. Yeah, when you threw, different speeds. When you threw it on, like when I got the the tanks, then it's like a different game entirely. You know, it's cool being playing both sides. Yeah, the uh, helicopter's drawn only using the missile or ball. I can't remember which what colors which. They both yeah. pretty much do the same thing. Uh, no, it would be um, it would have been the ball because it's a different color, right? Let me just see. Yeah, it would be um, it would be the ball, because if you look, it's orange, and it's not red or yellow. And if it was a missile, it would be red or yellow, um, especially when you're close to it. It just is easier that way, I think. Ball is blue. Blue playfield is purple. No, it is the missile. Wow. Oh, okay. Interesting. So, hmm. The shot's the ball. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. The shot is the ball. Our, oh, my shot. How come I can't play? Play. Oh, I have to move. Yeah, okay, okay. that makes sense. The shot is the ball. Okay, anyway. There it is. There's the debug colors, um, which you guys, yeah, you, know, you guys can see. So player player zero, player one, play field's purple, various shades of purple. Um, background is uh, gray, missile, ball. Okay, very cool. Very nice. Okay, so we're gonna be playing Running Man by Bob Montgomery, aka V Dub Bobby. This is from 2005. It is a work in progress mm -hmm. <laughs> from 2005. Um, I doubt he will update it for various reasons we'll get into, um, but he might. It's first posted December 29th, 2004. This build is from January 7th, 2005. It's a 4K game as well. Cool. There you go. It is fairly unfinished, but I thought I'd put it on because it's interesting. Um, other games he's done, Elevator's a Miss, Go Fish, um, M4, Ram Defender, Ram Racer, Ram Vaders, Running Man, Squish'em, Tank Maze, Wumpus Hunt 2600, plus a number of hacks and demos, and you can download this game uh, in the Atari Age forums. So we'll get to Running Man, which should be very close by this. So we'll switch over. And if anybody can tell me what game this was made into. Okay. So I, I like jump. Done. Uh, December 29, 2004. Um, Whoa. He posted it saying, please take a look at an incomplete first attempt at a VCS game. This is the first game that he ever made. V-Dub Bobby. Um, What's going on with can, these arrows? I want some arrows. Uh, can somebody run it on a real machine, see if it works? All suggestions, comments appreciated. And then he updated a few couple changes. A few more items on the floor do things. Uh, I want these. Reindeer Rescue. Thrust got it right. Ding, da, ding, ding, ding. This was made into Reindeer Rescue. Because it has the exact same look uh -oh. to it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, smush. Reindeer Rescue, yep. Also, Lem McAllister got that as well. Um, redone. Oh, what's that do? although not finished level. This does have a finished level, so it is a playable game. And there are there is score, there's a timer that counts down. See, oh man, I missed out this bottom one too. And the timer counts down to the end of the level. What's so. this do, do you think? There Whoa. you go. It's a spring. spring. Okay, that's good to know. That's real good to know. Okay, I think I gotta get on this higher level though. I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet because I think the same issue that I had before is going to happen. Uh, no, you should be able to do it from him there. Yay! Oh, maybe Rip. not. I think you have to move as well at the same time. Oh, oh, I can move? Good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, that changes everything. Added a timer. Major thing reworking is how I stored data. Freed up many, many, many bytes of ROM. Oh, yeah, reworked yet. jumping. Please let me know if you think of the jumping. A little too floaty? Anyway, what do you think? Then in August 2005, he said, Running Man, about 75% uh -oh. done but not actively working on it anymore. Oh, it makes you go really fast when you're at the front. Whoa. Why did it speed up so much? Oh my uh -oh, god. Oh shit. How did it speed up so much? I think much? I got those arrows oh. and those arrows really like did a lot for me. Super so speed. That 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 Points. gives me more time. Oh, does um, it? which is a big deal. Okay. Um stopped working on it for two reasons. I ran out of ROM and so I didn't look, understand fast. bank switching. Faster, uh, uh, almost okay. almost too fast. Like <laughs> seriously. And I'm not satisfied with the collision detection. I'm not sure how to improve it. Major things left to do: design and code, all level enemy data, attract, title sequence, improve, improve collision detection. Uh, on his September t uh, 14th, 2005 blog entry, I think I'll go through all my already started projects one by one and evaluate the co pros and cons for each game. Uh, as well, looking at the problems I encountered for each one. I'll attach the most recent binary as well uh -oh. as a screenshot for each one. Wrecked. Oh, you haven't made it to the top? To no, yet. it's hard. Oh. Status of this project. One level essentially done. Kernel essentially done. Game needs game engine mostly done. Needs additional level data created and entered. Needs additional enemy data created and entered. Needs music, sound effects. Needs scoring and a timer mechanism. Needs collision. 
To add this data, it needs to be expanded to an 8K or more likely a 12 or 16K. The reason I stopped working, I didn't know how to do bank switching. Pros of this project, it looks damn cool. I also had some ideas for more levels that would be wicked awesome. That's a big yeah, fuck yeah. Despite the presence of quite a few horizontally scrolling games in the 2600 library, it doesn't have many true side scrolling platformers where there's an extensive interaction with the scrolling background. Phew, clumsy sentence. Let me put it a different way there aren't any Super Mario Brother clones for the 2600 at the time of writing. Oh. Um, yeah, this one's a really nice looking um, side scrolling platformer with uh, the trees and the sun at the top. There really aren't that many. There's a lot more now. Um, what was that other one where you're jumping on buildings as well? That one's a really good one. Um, cons of this project. Seems like a game made by a committee. Are you racing? Are you trying to dodge, kill enemies? Are you trying to gather items? All of the above? Why? What's the point? Mid, a bit What's muddled. the point of any of it, man? Then the December uh, 13th, 2005 blog post. Yes. Okay. Yay! Oh, you still have ten, nine seconds. Oh, just went to zero. <laughs> and then uh, you win. Does it, did I win or did I lose? Cause... Oh, you won. You finished the first level. Okay. Uh, as many of you are probably aware, I've been working on Atari Age holiday cart for the past month, so I was keeping a secret until I was positive that I was going to get it done. But here's a condensed history of the development. The new game is titled Reindeer Rescue, and it's based on the demo I wrote a year ago called Running Man. As I mentioned to Manuel a couple days ago, it's been interesting going back to the very first thing I ever wrote for 2600. I think if I was starting from scratch to write Reindeer Rescue today, I would quickly abandon the project because I would not believe I could no! run oh. Spush. Well, I hit jump, but it just didn't do its thing. Rough. Um, so somebody asked, uh, I was hoping you would complete Running Man at some point. He said, ah, well, if you can find somebody to design all new sprites, help design test new levels, <laughs> I'll put in my to-do list. There are approximately a bazillion sprites in that game. He's talking about Reindeer Rescue. So that so that's pretty much the game. I thought it was more an interesting curiosity um, of what the game evolved from into Reindeer Rescue. Oh, yeah! So we're going to take a, a look at Reindeer Rescue now. Cool. Really quickly, because we have played it before. I remember that one. That's actually a very hard game. It is, I think, uh, level four. Uh, really got us. Oh, oh no. Oh, I think you guys don't make it. Yeah. Oh, no. House in the face. Yeah, I played this the other day, too, and I think I got to level four, and it's... It's, it gets really hard. You have to time your jumps properly. And make sure you don't fall in pits. So you always want to stay as high as possible. And in this game, you have to re uh, rescue your reindeer. And the reindeer are always on the top levels. Cool. Even though the points are sometimes in the lower. That doesn't do anything but push you back. There's some great graphics. Like, that is an amazing graphic. This... The spinning. Uh, oh yeah, and you get snow. more like time if you eat these cookies and stuff. Yes. Almost look like an Imperial Walker. It is. No. Oh no! In the pit. Oh. There is an Imperial Walker. Well, it's hard because it's, it's hard because I hit jump, but it didn't actually do anything. That like one's it's... that one's a bear, but there is actually an Imperial Walker with a, a snow speeder in one level. What are the things that take down the Imperial Walkers? Uh -oh. Are they snow speeders? Uh -oh. They must have been. Adats? No. No, 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 no. The polar bell. Bear. Yeah. You gotta at least finish one level. <laughs> yeah, man. We'll see. We'll see. Just... Yeah, you get points for that. Yeah. And more time. Do you get more time? You see the little oh, strings? It lit back up again? Yeah. There you go. Okay, now fall back. There you go. Fuck yeah, reindeer! You have to get two reindeer in this level. So big demanding. jump. A big jump. Ooh, no! no. Oh. 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 Rip. That's okay. Oh. Santa visits Hoth, too. Fucking hell yeah, man. Yeah, I'm gonna complete this level. It's terrible loading up the game. Not doing it. Not finishing it. <laughs> it's true. 
Um, my skill set though, platformers are not high on the list. I'm like average platformer. Uh, we were really lucky that none of the games we did for the competition were platformers. That's I, w I don't, true. wouldn't have done very well. I'm actually the, because the one I did the best at Pepper was like a, um, uh, Pac Man -y, Pac Man -y. Yeah, and I'm pretty good at those. Yeah. Um, but again, like, anything with calculations, man. RPGs, <laughs> I'll read all the manuals that's and figure all the things out. Yeah, we did um uh, we did another D and D session on Sunday. Um, nice, how'd that go? It was fun. Um, uh, the there two of the players played for nine hours, Whoa. and then the other two people like were in, and then like one of them bailed, and then one of them was sort of here swaying in. So it was very fun because it was almost like the two people who were like down for it played and were really engaged and these other people kind of swang in but it was like very fun for like story purposes because it was like right like you, you know meet up with these people. people now they fucking bone out and you just had to be part of the thing so it was, it was really fun okay i'll play till i die but um <laughs> now that i'm doing okay oh but i i was surprised that i and i probably could have done another nine hours if i needed to i was so surprised that i had the stamina and the that's a and the ability long to, time. to keep it. I think the thing is, is I'm so I'm good at writing long form stories, so I know where right. we're going and I know all the pieces and I know kind of when to when to hit them. So it was fun because mm. it was like I when I first did it, I tried to like come up with all of the stuff, and then yeah. really what I did this time and and last time as well, was I just prepared like lists of things that could happen, and ah. then I sort of waited and watched what they did for the right moment. Yeah, so then it was like if I felt like oh, they were content cool. and interested <laughs> time but, to crank it up yeah but then uh, or if i felt like they were getting bored then i would just throw like three four things at them so it was a nice approach to sort of designing kind of on the fly game where it was like a, a list idea. of stuff and and that way it was like i could kind of feel it out and i think that's the advantage of doing it D, D style is that you're not locked into a program like i can then flex it as we go so a little less structured but planned Totally, and the yeah. big picture stuff is so structured. Like I know all the all the big pieces, yeah. and um, but also it's fun because when you do a setup, I just all I've been doing oh, is is thinking like you know okay so that I just look back at like what's happened and see if I can pay off anything you know mm. so rather than trying to write a whole friggin' thing, I just look at it and go like well they did this so what would happen next so I don't I'm like I'm like nine steps ahead but like yeah. one step ahead yeah. But you're not planning too far ahead, but you... Yeah, because this becomes a waste of time, because I just don't know is. what their choices are going to be. And um, But yeah, it's fun also, too, because... Um, uh... It's just, it's neat because I feel like it's a its a study of human behavior because yeah. they're allowed to do anything. So it's just fascinating it's what people choose to do. <laughs> and like, and, and in a fictional world where there are no consequences, I think that's why <laughs> RPGs are cool. Because you get to really, especially when you get you to do choices. Whatever you want. Yeah. yeah, you find out a bit about your friends, like, <laughs> you know. If they were unleashed on the world what, without restraints. Yeah. And what then would I, they do? And they try to build in consequences for everything too. Like, you do this, then the world sort of adapts around. You, but it's cool because it's on the fly, right? So you don't have to. You can you can kind of mold it with it. Um, See that package? Yeah. They want you to get that package to to miss the reindeer. Those bastards, man. That's how they Always get you. Always stay high in this game. This is the hard level. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember this one. This is the. You're done. Yeah. Anyway, that's a that's a great game. We'll play that around Christmas again, I think. Perfect. Because it's hard as hell. <laughs> Um, so we're going to move on to our last game, which is uh, Venture, um, which we didn't get too far in last time because it's not easy, but I wanted to um, visit again because there's been an update and to try and get as far as we can. So this is release candidate two of Venture. It was put out uh, two days ago. Yeah, and you dive in. See how far you can push, Oh, yeah. Man. Okay. Yeah, Here, I'll let you read off. Because typically, the changes. yeah, if we want to beat a game, generally <laughs> you playing is a better call, and I'm happy to chill. Okay. Uh, so there's all the things you need to read out. Cool. Um, everything from here down. Yeah, starting at the top. Who made it? Who... Oh, one second. Oh, let's get rid of that. Yeah. Okay, there we cool. go. So okay. this is um, uh, Venture Reloaded, which is a 2019 hack update by Jeff Johnson, a.k.a. Omega Matrix. And uh, this was first posted October 22nd, 2019, and this build is from November 11th, so this is, you know, remembering. Fresh. Oh, shit, I remember this one. Yep. 
Um, uh, and, uh, yeah, because this is the one that we were talking about that's, like, borderline not a hack. It's so close to not being a hack, and he almost did make it not a hack. He, he almost started it from nothing, um, but then he went, eh, it's just easier, it would take too long, and he would, he would have to, uh, he wanted to make it really good if it wasn't going to be a hack, but he had to learn a lot to do that. Yeah. Um, so he just went, I'll just build it on top. And a good game's a good game, whatever whatever method gets you there, right? It's yeah. Not, it's not like, you know... But he's changed it so much that it's it's almost not a hack. Like, he's added so much to it. So he said, here's some of the changes. Um, he changed the scoring bonus to be a true multiplier. It multiplies the points gathered for the last level. So that's cool. Yeah. He changed the points to be more generous overall, so I guess if you care about points, that's a that's an yeah, advantage. I don't care about Me neither. Um, he changed the level. scoring of for monster kills so that the points are awarded before getting the treasure. Okay. Level one complete. There's six levels. Six or eight? Can't remember. Um. Uh, he said he changed the bonus lives to be awarded every thirty thousand points, as before bonus lives will only occur if the player has less than three lives remaining. So you get more than three lives? Yeah, it's, that seems to be what he's suggesting. Like there's a cache of, cache of lives. Yeah, an increased door width for the top door of the goblin room, top door of Cyclops room, and both doors of the genie Damn room. Damn it, what the... And the skeleton Sorry. room, top door, and both um, uh, uh, doors of the demon room were left as so that the monsters don't wander out of the room. Mm. So that's, that's pretty... Pretty solid stuff. Yep. And, and it changed the starting position of the hall monster outside of the skeleton room to avoid cheap deaths. I really appreciate oh, that. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, tweaked the treasure reveal music. Tweaked the game over music. Delayed the hall monster entering the small room slightly, which is two extra seconds, which is another nice balancing choice. It's like a statue. Whoa, and there's like... Extra... And these guys appear? Yeah. That's intense. Okay. Um, added the spider room, which is special events. More spiders appear. Added that's the cyclops room. That's what we just room. saw. We just saw yeah. the spider room. And uh, the sphinx room. Oh, yeah. that's, what this is. that's what it feels Get like. Get away from the treasure. Oh, can I get it? There you go. go. Um, bug fixed. Winky no longer walks through the walls when using a keyboard. A I, key. I helped him with that. Because <laughs> I, I, somebody discovered it. And then I was like, then I then I figured out how it happened because you're pressing up and down at the same time, and that it can only happen on a keyboard, right? It can't ah. happen on with a joystick. So I was like, what the hell? I can warp through the walls, but nobody else could find it, and he couldn't replicate it. And then I was like, oh, it's because I'm like pressing the buttons like impossible buttons. That's what I was pressing. This one you gotta kill the guys really quick because they kind of guard. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Troll room. Level two complete. This is monster and arrow collision are fixed so that monsters die when shot. I mean, that's 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 a good one. Hey, extra life. That's an important one. And yes, then um, <laughs> bug fixed. Holding fire while entering a room was showing the arrow in a wrong uh, location oh. for a few frames. Oh, that's a minor. minor. Oh God. Um. Yeah, that's all. That's all the updates. And I agree with I suppose to. Bug he, he said it's great. He polished this with player feedback. So true, man. Yeah, that's what you want. That's because he was. He was kind of. He almost said, "Yeah, this is the final version." But it's nice that he put it out. And um, I mean, beta testing God is. Damn it! Is such an important thing to be done, right? You need to. Yes. You need to do some form of uh, player testing. Yeah, put it out to the world. Um, you want to get rid of some of these these little bugs. Um, because there was, um, in Reindeer Rescue, I mean, usually they keep those secret, the, some of the, the holiday games, but after he put it on cartridge, there was actually a bug that could kill you if you jumped at the wrong spot on the, uh, on one of the undergrounds. I figured that out. I found, I found that while doing research for the Reindeer Rescue game. And it was already put out on cartridge. It was much too late. But, um... Ugh. Damn, what a tough one. Oh, oh, they just reappear. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool, actually, because then they... Oh, no, some of them do. I think that might have just been a bug. I think so, yeah. Another bug! Bug! bug. Oh, that's tough. Yeah. It never ends, does it? Ah! Never does. Steer well clear of the monsters when you're inside because they change 
direction randomly. I love that it's like you're collecting treasure and artifacts and you get to see them and it's like a question mark. Yes, impressive work in this game. This is what a hack should be, not just altered graphics. That is definitely... Oh, he said it's not a bug. Cyclops oh. is teleport. Oh. So shit, man, that's good news. Oh, so I didn't kill him. He just teleported. He just popped out of the way. Oh, just, uh... okay. Well, that's good. This is the beer treasure. <laughs> yes. The Stein treasure. The Stein, that's right. Uh, uh, ah! Shoot them if you can. Avoid them if. <laughs> avoid them. If, avoid them if. Oh, that's the first time I saw the bad guy. Yeah, you actually do have Call a decent amount Call of monster. time, man. You do. Yeah, this but is the this is the drunk level. We got a martini <laughs> glass. We got a beer. Yeah. I love the treasure at a certain point just turns into liquor. It's so good. <laughs> it's the liquor level. Oh, 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 oh. This, this one's is... actual treasure. It's like a ring. Yeah. Or like there a jug. Go. Oh, yeah. It could be a vase, a wine jug. One of those big, big yeah, ones. Yeah, to, to, to continue with our uh, drunk theme. There we go. Level three complete. Wow. Okay. Four, We're doing... Level four? Yeah, do not so bad. Best. Well, we're we're almost halfway there, basically. If I've gauged this treasure, right? Yes, almost halfway. Yeah, that's good you're playing. I couldn't get, like, even, like, probably past the first level without a few ah! Oh, my wow, God. Wow, these guys are becoming more and more of a factor. Damn it. Yeah, they are. Before, they're just kind of wandering. PH4, welcome. Yeah, and he says um, uh, it would be interesting strategy to have um, to have to pick up the heavy objects last if they slowed you down. Mm. Yeah, if you wanted to yeah, add to this immersion, be... that would be. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> I see that was a Nimrod. Oh my god. Spiders! Run! Ah! Ah! Sphinxes. There we go. Got two of them. Good. Ah. Good. Good. Clear. Dragon room. Let's go up this way. Yeah, <laughs> pick up the piano at the end for sure, man. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's so We can get some ladles, or we can pick up a piano. Which <laughs> treasure do you want? Let's pick up the ladles. Yeah, let's ladle it up. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get, get. Oh, my God. There's no time limit in this area, as far as I Thankfully. know. It's just dangerous. It's demonic skulls. Okay, and you have to wait for this guy to disappear. His body to disappear. Oh god, come on. Damn it! Oh no, see this is a proper game. No 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 no. Got one life left. Do, 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 do. <laughs> this is not good. Do, 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 do. Get away from me. Get! Ah! Uh, that's it. Okay, you play one, and then I'll get, do one more last attempt. Cover it back up. Not bad, not bad, but should be able to do all of it. That's the goal. It's just those hall monsters are mostly the ones that are killing me. They're just like super fast. Getting some soup. Yep. Some exploding feeling, soup. Feeling sick, you know. <laughs> I'm thank God he de dealt with like the cheap shots of them like coming. Oh yeah, right, right away. That I did die on before. Yeah, keep your distance. Definitely keep your distance. I think I'm gonna run out of time. Might be okay. Oh, you're fine now. You can head straight out. And he did change so that the mo that creature, the hall monster, is random. Remember he was always appearing in one corner? He, um, he made a change so it's random corner. Man. Ooh, dangerous, dangerous, but you did. Oh, you got out that way. Oh, uh, you're planning to your escape to the next uh, room. Uh, Whoa, that was close. Up, 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 up or down? Yep. Whoa. Okay. Now you got it. 
jam. Ah. Oh. Should gone straight back down again. This freaking thing, man. <laughs> Rough. Three out of four. It wasn't named Nimrod until Toy Shop Trouble. I have no idea what they're talking about, Nimrod. I like, um, Something. I went to this, like, I went to Winners recently. Yeah. <laughs> and, god damn it, does it, like, I forget about all this Christmas stuff. It's oh, so crazy. It's all over the place, Like, eh? I just, I, I'm not a big Christmas person, and I forget yeah. that it's, like, people just jacking these tunes and just people <laughs> oh, just bad. buying stuff. Oh. Yeah, it's a lot. Mass, mask, mass consumerism. Like, I don't mind it if it's like something that the other person really wanted totally. or they need, but stuff that people buy for each other that they look at and go, "Oh, thanks," and they never use and then throw it away a month or two months later. And it's a lot of cheap stuff, you know. Like it's yeah, tough because it's like plasticky garbage stuff that's not well made and. Video games, that's fine. That's totally fine. Because <laughs> those... Oh, oh, get the hell out of there. Oh, that was close. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, there well, you yeah, go. it's totally the Christmas season at this point, and... Oh, the Imperial Adat was renamed Nimrod to avoid potential copyright issues. I'll be oh, I did get it right. I said Adat. Oh, it was an Adat, not an Imperial one. I think they're the same thing. Oh, they are. Yeah. I just said I. I a T A T A T A T. Because yeah. A T A T. I'm happy that I got it right. Because I thought that was what it was, but. Yeah. I no, I do remember that now. I just didn't make the connection. I think it scrolled off the screen. The connection between Toy Shop Trouble. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. It's you have to paint them uh, white or gray. White. White and gray. In in Toy Shop Trouble. Shoot. Two-headed room. Whoa! That guy was, that was right bit, on you. That was a bit rough. Okay, these guys again. These characters. <laughs> I found this one to be a bit of a bit This of a one's a challenging one. room because the guy likes to hang around there. Then you have to kind of wait because it's, it's a very blocked path in this room. Yeah, and there's only one way out. Yeah. Ah, la, la, la. <laughs> I find this one not too bad because it's not a mazy type one and it's fairly easy to shoot them because they just kind of mull around. Awesome. Is that second level? Nice. Yeah. Oh, you're doing pretty good actually. But man, I just really, what I was thinking a lot about when I was in Winners, I only was on what reason why I was in Winners because I was given a gift card for it. Oh, so I had no. to try to find some stuff, which was fun. But I was thinking, man, Christmas has got to be a totally different thing if you got a little kid. Oh like, if you God, got a little yeah. kid, and all the kids in his, like, class, or her class, are going on and on about, like, this I want that. this, and you're like, and they get in their head that they want something, and, like, what do you do? Are you going to argue with your kid about what they want and don't want? And they're going to be disappointed, and, the, and made fun of by their friends. And and it's not like they want stuff that's, like, don't get it. and then, and it's sort of the season where you just kind of got to buckle in and do it, right? Like, what else do you do? Yeah. You, you and know, it's, like, it's so tough. Whoa, that was close. That was really close. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> it's kind of, it's it's a really fun, interesting game because it's just a little tiny oh. dot. Yeah, that's a good, good decision. Whoa, it didn't kill him. Oh, oh this is rough stuff, man. It is when they gang up on you. But yeah, I basically bought some socks and a teapot, and I was out of there. I <laughs> yeah, was like, I'm done. And it. it's crazy. Like, you stand in the line for these places, and it's just, like, so much stuff, you know? Because the thing about the line is that's when they're still trying to sell you stuff. So you look, and it's, like, oh. all these candies, shortbread, you, everything. You walk through this maze of under $5 
things, disposable little things that you can just grab and then it, you know what that is stuffing stuffers man that's yeah. totally what it is and you're Definitely there and you're like stuffers. and i just saw these people just grabbing stuff you know you, we were in line and oh, you can just see oh, they're yeah. like oh yeah oh, we'll yeah. get this oh, yeah. and we'll get this and there's a little kid there and he was like just and he was just staring and frothing his mouth at these caramels <laughs> i was like this is oh yeah they can i'm like they know the... what they're doing here this is not you know and because obviously, and then it kind of went during the day, and you could see it was all these mothers kind of there with their kids, right? Yeah. And clearly they couldn't afford babysitting, and their, their kids trying to like wait while they're putting on a blouse, and all of a sudden they're just like the kids crying because he wants something. <laughs> I was like, wow. He's bored to death. What a crazy season! And you're already buying stuff, so it's awkward. Your kids like, hey, why don't I get one of these caramels? And you're like, well, I guess I am buying like, uh, you not know, not bad, not bad. Uh, Two rows. But it's like, I guess I'm buying, like, you know, you know, grandpa a bunch of stuff anyways. And yeah. I was just so happy to get back home in my house. Yeah, it's madness. And I am. Um, but I bought a Bluetooth speaker. That was the only thing that I bought. I, oh, yeah? I, I, I fell prey to it. Because I listen to music not, all the they're time. They're not a bad little thing to get, actually. They're very portable. You can use them yeah. anywhere. You. I mean, we used it for the... Um... For the retro gaming because the tv was being used and hence the stereo system yeah um for for a game system right and i and i scoped out a stereo oh. system like my dream stereo system ages ago and of course it's like two grand right oh, like of course, you know if you want to get a good one and then i was but the other issue i had i was thinking about this i'm like i do live in a basement suite so i can't even jack it up to oh, max or else people are gonna complain so i was thinking about it i'm like you know what and yeah. I listen to music all the time. True. I mean, I can't even crank it up here. Yeah, and you're and you. I mean, we're fairly isolated, but you know, we're in a townhouse complex. Yeah, you don't wanna, and you also don't wanna be that guy. You know? No, we're all very friendly here, so we don't wanna rock the boat with uh, cranking up stereo, Just cranking oh, up the yeah. movies. Ah. Oh my God! What kill? What kills? What kills that is a party. That's just for sure. We'll, we'll do it. You know. Yeah. If you have it on the weekend and you keep it to midnight or something, people are going to be understanding, and they won't be sleeping at that time. Yeah. Nobody but, here does shifts. So. But the you know I, if two. I if I ever have a party, I'm like no more than five people, and those better be five people I know well, you know? Because I've seen it get <laughs> yeah. out of hand. Like, I've seen those oh, friends yeah, yeah. who just, like... And, and they actually ruin their, like, relationship with their with their tenant because there's one asshole who showed up, cranked the music really loud, was shouting, you know? <laughs> and then what right. do you do? It's such a socially difficult thing to then turn to that person and say, hey, can you please be quiet? Because then you're, you know... Oh, yeah, you're that guy. Great holiday cart, Toy Shop Trouble. Actually, it is. It's really good. Actually, all the holiday holiday carts are excellent. Hope they make it come back someday. Are they not in the stores anymore? In the Atari Age store? Yeah, most... Like, I can't think of a bad holiday cart. Yeah, people usually uh, put a lot of effort into the, the holiday carts. The games. It's very tricky, those spiders coming from the entrances. Yeah, they just... They just rush you, you know? <laughs> they do. Luckily, they go in a straight line at first. Ah! No, 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 no! Need an extra life, because I wasted it on that simple level with no enemies. Cause see, here's here's the conundrum too, man. Is that like oh. the the system that I wanted would have obviously an audio interface to connect. You know what I mean? It was like yeah. that whole thing. Five point one. Uh, and you know, the, whoa, and, that was uh, close. And like um, you know, I wanted studio monitor ones, yes. like really proper shit. But the issue then is that you can only run that through a laptop. Oh. Or like um, you know, what? you could, you could maybe hook your phone up to it, but then you gotta get a jack in and all this stuff, and then you're talking about the stereo system. Yeah, stereo or the system. Oh, okay. stereo systems. So that's why I went on to the Bluetooth option because I was like, oh. you know what? If my friends are around, they can just like connect up to it. That's and I, true. And I really, it struck me again how you know we're go. I'm getting an inferior thing that is more convenient. And I actually will go for the convenience. And this I'm is sure also there's some decent Bluetooth. Um, um, I feel like I got a, a fairly good one, but but it's that thing where it's like you know I got a product that's really a consumer thing, and I really right. would like to have like a it's professional, more, more um, disposable than anything else. Yeah, and and I and it's but it's also interesting how it's like there there is such an 
advantage to just going with the product that you know you know you'll use every day and is so easy. I feel that's why I'm actually more of a Mac user at times <laughs> is because it is so much easier, you know, and it's 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 a lot more reliable and you know there's you can't fuck with as much. But the payoff then is that you know less can go wrong. Yeah. So, but yeah. I feel bad because on one level it's like oh I like god. to think of myself as as Whoa. more. Dude, that was close. <laughs> that was really close. Oh my god. Madness. Ah! But yeah. Three must be the hardest. What? He says, oh, can you uh, read out the one about uh, that? The trick is finding a good enough holiday themed idea, finding yeah. a programmer who wants to do it, yeah. and finishing it in time for a holiday <laughs> release. Yeah, yeah you real like. People don't think about, oh, I should make a, a Christmas or a holiday cart, and then it's it's like November, and it's like, well, you're not gonna make a good one in a month. Yeah. <laughs> Especially to, to get all the artwork done, and then get it to Al for him to be able to release it, and then people to get it in time too. It's like, no, you have to think about making it like the year before, uh, or at least half a year, depending on how how complex the project. Oh my god. Oh my god! Terrible! <laughs> I'm not sure we've ever made, actually made number three. Yeah. Yeah, a lot it of them in time. happen after the fact. Sadly. But they're good for the next year, too. But yeah, I'm not going back home, so I'm really excited because I don't have to spend a ton of money on on presents for like my entire family. I get to just kind of enjoy yeah. my time a bit. I've always actually hated Christmas, in all honesty, <laughs> um, just because of my family. Like my family oh. dynamics are always like it's always a lot and um, lot to take, lot to take all at once. All at once, one on one, it's hard enough. But if you put them all together, and I go back to Edmonton, right? So it's it's oh. just. I mean, this is the, the first year I'm gonna spend. The bleakness of the gray of Edmonton. Yeah, minus thirty. That's just why. Minus forty with wind chill, man. That's the planet going. You shouldn't live here. Oh, totally. Like, I heard from. You're gonna die. Apparently, yeah. there was a stat which said it's the highest. Um, it's the it's the coldest city in the world with the highest population. Wow. <laughs> wow. Because <laughs> obviously there's colder cities, but their populations are not huge. So it's like the most people living in the coldest place. And I think the second were like balance. Siberia. Oh yeah, somewhere in Russia. Yeah. I'm like, damn. Got to be um Luckily, uh, my family, one side of my family, my family, um why I stuck in a wall. <laughs> once it's in a, a while. Sharp game, man. Yeah. Once in a while it says no presents, and luckily this year is one of those. Oh, so it's just like, no, we're not doing it. And it just makes it so much easier. We just, you know, get together, have a dinner. And how they get you, man, is that, like, it's so hard to find a good present. And when it you is. do find a good present, oh, you're so just in this place where, like, fuck it, I'll just spend it. Because it's like, I don't want to have to spend another nine hours in winners. Oh, like, this is, not, this is not on my list of, of shit I wanted to do. Yeah. You gotta keep pushing. See if you can get... One more try? Yeah, man. What time is it? It's like 12, oh, 30, so we yeah, got, we're good. We got tons of time. Probably another half hour, even. Yeah. So you can keep pushing. Stay, Stay Frosty delay, to his 2 was delayed for two years after it was originally considered finished. The extra time really made the game a lot better. That's the thing, man. Stay Frosty 2 is so hard. There's so many levels. It's such a good game, but I wish I was better at it to yeah. get to those levels so, that I've never seen. So the, the impulse is going to be to rush, but actually take more time. Okay. Um, because remember, you, you've never died from that guy. Every time you've died has been from a uh, mistake so in game. So remember that, like, you actually have more time than you think. That's true. Um, because obviously oh, you don't want to fuck around, but it's that thing where um, don't take too long, but don't go crazy. Yeah, like, like d just totally acceptable. And you can also jump in and out if there's an issue. That's true. So it's taking too long. Jump out. Totally, because that you gotta play for end game. That's true. Because um, I have been, you've like, been kind panicking. Of, yeah, because you because you want to get it done fast for the stream, which yeah. is like so reasonable. Because I always <laughs> feel that pressure too. But yeah. yeah, just take your time. Because you, you you remember you've never died from that thing. That's true. Yeah, it's always from it's, rushing and making silly mistakes. Totally. Because you have it's actually a fairly well balanced game where like yeah. um you know. Like here, for example. Oh, it's nightmare. Totally fine. Like, Getting you know. Stuck on walls is terrible. 
Reindeer Rescue may have been released in time. Toy Shop Trouble wasn't finished till December 19th. Damn. So it wouldn't have been shipped in time. And I know Stella's stocking was late. Yeah. These are all before my time, uh, but I do have them all uh, after the fact. And that was just bad Cheap. luck. Cheap! That was just <laughs> very bad luck. I mean, I could have ran away, but... But, I mean, you had the right impulses to shoot. Yep. It's a sharp game, man. I think you should always shoot as soon as you enter a room, because you don't know where those guys are going to be. I mean, they should be X pixels away from you to make it a bit better. Because that's, that's, that's rough. Whoa! Oh, I thought they went all the way to the center first. Yeah. Two deaths in the same room. This is terrible. He says uh, Reindeer Rescue was developed in about five weeks, man. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Like doing the research f for the um, Running Man. It was surprising the turnaround time that, that it had. It was crazy. I don't think it made it on time, though. <laughs> it was still, like, posting about December when they were still doing releases. Whoa, that guy came down. Okay, that's a lot easier. Good. Both out of the way pretty quick. I have, like, no lives left. It's, ugh. One... Oh, Damn. I can't. I can't escape. Like he went beeline Doing for me. Doing all that. Keep going. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was just a bunch of bad luck. So, I, I couldn't escape that guy. So I was doing rehearsal yesterday on a mm. project, and one yep. of the actors, I was talking to him, and he's telling me that he works as a as a pest control guy. Oh, and yeah. oh Ed my. Bugs. <laughs> um, well, actually, he has to deal with like rodents. So, I, w I was oh, asking wow. him about this job. This guy gets paid like 15 bucks an hour. He'll show up to a business. Doesn't seem like much. Nothing, man. He'll Food. show up to a business and they'll basically have, he said, what he'll show up on his own and they'll have 15 squirrels. <laughs> what? And be like, we need you to get rid of them, but you have to do it humanely. So, right. what he'll try That's to fun. do is like, and he said squirrels are the worst. So, he said he'd be at the top of like a 20 foot ladder on his own, trying to like get this squirrel to leave. <laughs> And he said he's been bit by so many squirrels oh, because they just... And he's like, squirrels are the worst. He said, seagulls will, will swan dive and attack your head as you try to, like, deal with this stuff. <laughs> really? And he was... Yeah. I'm doing um, terrible. I'm doing worse. Andrew Davey did a picture cart. Oh, cool. Oh. But I was like, it was just this insight into like this guy's life, and I'm like, dude, for fifteen bucks an hour, what do are you, things. what are you doing? And he's going on about having to deal with raccoons and climbs, you know, and he'll be on his own, and he'll always say like his boss, like, look, man, it's hard. I don't, wanna, I don't have to try to evict fifteen squirrels on my own by climbing a ladder. And they'll, be, can I at least get someone to spot me on the ladder? And they'll be like, well, we're a bit rushed today, so. Uh. And he said that he's the only guy who's able to do it, so they only give him the squirrel, the squirrel job. Because <laughs> the squirrels are the most vicious. Oh, I was wow. like, oh man, I was just, it was like an insight into someone's life that, you know, it's not my world at all, but. I'm playing terribly. Yeah, that's, uh. That's very interesting. 15. Yeah, and he says what he'll do is he'll set up a door. And it's like a one-way door, so yeah. they'll come out of it. But he said they always find a way around it because it's like that's their their job. That's all they got to do yeah. 24 hours a day is figure out how to break through this one dumb thing. <laughs> so he says they'll constantly be called. And apparently, like, um, the local pricing for this is very expensive, but business pricing is like $25 to remove squirrels. Yeah. So basically, if he, if he works for two hours, he's losing the company money. Oh, so no. he'll show up for 15 so he... squirrels and basically... And Basically, the expectation is somehow he's going to get rid of 15 squirrels in an hour. So he's he's got a lot of pressure from his company then. Yeah. Is it per squirrel or is it just for the whole job? So the, that's so crazy. They said they're One stopped. squirrel doesn't equal 15. No. Squirrels. And like the thing is, is like for so if I were to phone this company and ask them to do it, it would cost 160 dollars. But because um, they want to have good connections with these businesses, they cut all these deals with them. So it's like 25 dollars. So he said it's like the worst. That work. seems ridiculous. Yeah, and he's like, that's why he's getting paid 15 bucks an hour. And I was like, dude, you gotta get a new job. 
Yeah. But what a what an ins- uh, it was. You're getting bitten at work for fifteen dollars an hour. You're... <laughs> By squirrels. He said he's had so many rabies shots, and I was like, Oh, oh my god! The, I was like, the, the hilarious stories, and he was telling me so deadpan. Uh, it was some of the funniest things I've heard, but then I couldn't stop thinking about it. Like, just, jeez. Makes me really reflect on my life. I got very little to complain about. It's good for a movie. It's so good for a movie. <laughs> as somebody, like, that's what they, that's what you start the movie as. He's <laughs> just, just... removing a squirrel from some place, and he's just getting bit, bit, and bit. And, and they're just, just treating like, hey, are you done yet? And he's like, oh. And he gets shit from work because he took too long, because he took two hours <laughs> to instead do, of one. the 15 squirrels. And he said apparently would pay, when, when, when seagulls will bomb dive and like peck his head when he's trying to get rid of the nests. So he says what he'll do is he'll climb up a ladder and he'll tuck an umbrella under his like left arm so this, this little bomb and hit the umbrella instead of his head. But now oh he said, God. but then he'll only have like one hand will be like half cocked and he'll be trying to reach in to pull up this nest always on a ladder oh my god <sighs> that sounds terrible terrible so, so we've got it pretty good man yeah we've got it pretty good but this guy was it's, but he's one of those guys where he's just you talk to him and he's just fearless like he just seems to have no like like uh, yeah you'd have I mean, to I, I wonder I if i wouldn't risk rabies for 15 <laughs> bucks an hour, hour man oh god damn it <laughs> oh, those devils! I would just leave, like if my yeah. boss told me, like one one of those, I'd just say no. Yeah, he says your your squirrels are very different than ours. Ours are very very careful and shy. Yeah, what well, he said, but the issue is, is they like there's so many squirrels that are like that. But if like a business is calling because they're having trouble with squirrels, he only gets the calls from the bad squirrels, right? Because if the squirrels are not fucking up with anything, well then it doesn't matter. It's like well they can hang out. Hard game, man. It seems to be. One more. Time for one more. Stay Frosty Rocks, then? Yes, it does! Both the original and number two. Both incre- If you like platformers, that is one of the best platformers on the system. Um, Panky the Panda, I would say, is another incredible platformer. I mean, we're talking about holiday carts, though. Yeah, man. But in terms of holiday carts, that is... This is a good that game, and Toy Shop Trouble. Here. Oh, my God. I'm definitely getting this uh, when it comes out on cart. This is incredible. Yeah, the fact that we're, like, pushing and, like, struggling still. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so got a good, good balance, though. You know, you've got so many different types of rooms. Uh, there's two, like, two I love the font, too. Serpent Room. Like, I never realized this shit. Is, you know, it announces like where you're at. Like, look, yeah. it's the serpent room. Like, of course, this is the serpent room. <laughs> and now, level one. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's this got nice a lot font, of great too, info. Man. Very appropriate font. Oh my god, get out of here. Oh, terrible. I don't know why I kept dying last time on this. It's not hard. It's just ac It's they know it's it's the accuracy you have to get perfect. There's a one pixel um, difference between you hitting the wall and you getting out. It's just to Daryl that we take his frantic kernel and turn it to Stay Frosty 3. And Frosty would be moving down rooms of fireballs and machine guns. <laughs> <laughs> to, <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. Didn't get any so, traction, I'm though. so oh. in. Oh, what a good pitch. Just <laughs> as you're like trying to. Oh, God, that would be killer. Yes, spider room, man. This is a hell of a room. Well away from those dudes. Okay, good, 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 good. Um, Takes some time to get used to it, though. It does. Oh my god, that guy just came just right out. Just lining You stay there. Okay. Yeah, oh, so, so the other shade he told me about the squirrels was that he said they'll sometimes uh, be so frequent that he'll come back to the same business. He said he went back to this business for the fifth time. And at that point, he said he said it, he said it was not what he should do, but he said he just chucked a bit of rat poison in because he's like he's like what are we gonna? He's like this is terrible. Like he's like the fifth time, and uh, it's like what do you do? But like it's so frowned upon to do that because you is. don't want to do this stuff. Yeah, and it's just also gave me made me think a lot about nature. You know, it's so interesting 
But then it's also so awful, because on one level I can understand the humane side of things, but it's also like we've decimated the environment of these animals, <laughs> and then we're yeah. pissed off that they're like hanging out in our rafters trying to survive, you we're, know? We're in their territory, and we're mad. Yeah! I was like, oh. But, 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 but does, he's does like, he also put in like screens up so they can't get in where they got totally in? Totally, all that stuff, but it's like... But the they're pro too smart. But, but he said it's their full-time job, right? Like, what else are they going to do? It's yeah, like, he, that's their whole he's day. there for an hour, and they wake up and just try to like break through this whatever barrier, and it's like their home, right? Could you imagine if someone kicked you out of your home? Yeah, it's like, hey, all my nuts were in there. And then just left? That's I would just I sleep. I'd just kick in the window and then go back in. That's what you they're know? doing. That's, that's their style you know and he said it just felt personal after God. a while damn it yeah he's like he's him like, against the squirrel he's like after you've been bit by these things like four times and you've come back for the fifth one <laughs> a little rat poison's happening the frosting yes <laughs> the frosting that's good more frosting there's lots of puns you could come up with. Oh, I think I accidentally leave the room. Oh. I don't know. Have you ever seen that documentary, Grizzly Man? I have heard about it. I've seen that many, many times. Like the, like the trailer for it. Such but an I've interesting movie. I've never actually watched it. Just makes me think we have such an interesting relationship to nature now because we're so displaced from it. Like, he li this guy who lives with grizzly bears and kind of believes they're these harmless creatures and, you know, he can live in harmony with nature and stuff. <laughs> uh, no. Well, yeah. <laughs> Does not work like that. Oh, dude, he got an extra one. It's good. Okay. I'm doing okay this time. Thank God. He's doing terrible. But it's hard. We can't even live with each other. Yeah, like, let alone nature that, that like, we can't even communicate with. Yeah, and we don't even and we don't even see we don't even see the value in other people. Like you know, how can you see? And but but it's all connected. Is the problem? Mm -hmm. Everything's ecological. Skeleton room. I love it. I like the skeleton like design. Mm -hmm. That's something I'm really impressed with this game is actually how well designed all the different enemies are. Yeah, they're like, great. This is, like you know, uh, even though they're like single colors, what is it? VH said sea levels. You know, obviously it's not his style, but it's no. like, but it's every level is like That's a different so thing. Obviously, there's the, the the dot and stuff. The martini serpent room. I would just uh, bail yeah, and go yeah, back yeah, in. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, Grizzly Man's a really interesting movie. Whoa, it's not the one where um the guy makes a suit up. No, to def to to fight grizzly bears. No, that would be that's a badass movie. I've never seen that. Yeah, <laughs> I he makes watch this that immediately. huge suit with a helmet, and he thinks he can like take on a grizzly bear with it. <laughs> Is it a documentary or a narrative? It's a documentary. <laughs> so good! Oh, I want to see this documentary. Now this is a Werner Herzog movie, and, oh, and um, okay, and so. I'll, com I'll convert my berserk to Sturdy Fosty Three. Yes. <laughs> Should it taunt between rooms? What should it be? Okay, you're going, you're doing fairly well, man. Yeah. Um, I'm not, not to jinx you. No, no but, I'm, but like you. You're pretty good. Level five. You said there's six levels, but. Uh, like, eight. Eight levels. Damn. You have to do the whole fill in all the treasure room. That what makes that sense. That guy is chasing after me. Yeah, luckily there's no time oh limit here. But, yeah. But yeah, I found like this is getting more and more challenging. Like, like They seem to be chasing her, but I don't think they are. I might Just... pop out the other side. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I, I they re they randomly change. That's good. Yay! Okay, Yay, I think that they, they're gonna come at you. Yeah. Good, I'm good, good, good. Oh, but they're moving so fast now. You can't run away from them. Oh yeah, and then Rick and Morty season four is out. Which I've only seen awesome. like a couple episodes of that. That's okay. It's a crazy show. I love it. So I'm really. It's cool to see the new season. Um, it's just neat to see like, um, and they're renewed forever oh, now. Like they have okay. 70 episodes. <laughs> oh wow! I'm always amazed how many episodes can be made of animation since yeah. it takes so long, so expensive to make that stuff. Yeah. Well, I think what they did is they just committed to oh, to, to 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 pay for and do 70 episodes, and they're and like their first their first half of season four is like five episodes. Oh. So they're okay. like really taking their time with it. That's good. I mean, I think basically they're. And they negotiated basically retirement money. Like, <laughs> yeah. Because that, that show makes a crazy amount of money off merch. Mm, like, if you walk in okay. any comic book store, there's IP. Just 
ton of it. Yeah. Oh yeah, and like you know, you, it's it's unreal. That's Adult Swim's model, actually. Adult Swim's Merch? model. Oh yeah, and they really understood that, I think, because they realized that that's where they're making all the stuff. Oh if you, yeah. If you get a fan base. Plushies. Plushies, everything. You go to any Hot Topic, any of those, <laughs> you, any of those like kind of stores. I guarantee that there's going to be some Rick and Morty merch. Oh, and, yeah. And there's, like, all kinds of different things. Um, but I really like the show a lot. Um, mm -hmm. And it's just cool to see that there's, like, a new season of it because it's, like, you know, the writing is really fun. Like, I've seen the, the creator on podcasts, and he's, he's pretty fun. Yeah, and the crazy thing is the one guy does all the... Like, like everything. Like, pretty <laughs> much all the voices. The writing, too? Um, uh, yeah, well, it's like one person show runs and, and, and writes kind of the big picture stuff, and one performs right. and show runs, and he performs both Whoa. voices. Yeah. Which is just... That is amazing. It's just... That part's just, like, honestly so cool to watch. Yeah. I'm gonna keep an eye on him. I'll make sure that... Defense. Hey, buddy. Yeah, he was freaked out on your at your party, and then yeah, kind of chilled out. Oh yeah, I didn't tell that story. Yeah, he freaked the hell out <sighs> at the party, and um, I had my tabletop games um, on shelves, and he was going absolutely nuts because he was super scared of something, and he knocked my Miss Pac-Man off the shelf and broke it. Just. A corner of it, but it was in perfect condition, and now it's not. Yeah, now it's fucked. Yeah, so but I'm gonna be able to super glue it back on, and, but I know it's broken. So, yeah. <laughs> but you can't see it's on the back. So it's, it, I, I'm not gonna buy a new one. I was thinking I'll have to buy a new one. Oh my god, look at them! Look how fast they're moving. Yeah, this is like inside. They're fine. Like this is I can deal with this. The goblin room, man. I think you're getting a new life real soon. I could be wrong. But look, look at this. Of course, I'm moving fast too. So. Yeah, that helps. It's just faster paced. These guys feel like they're moving a bit faster. Oh yeah, they are, but they're not like unreasonable yet. Yeah, I'm going out. Whoa, no! I went the other way. Damn it! Damn it! Just don't stress. Take your time. Yep. There ain't yep. no rush. How many levels? Twelve. Eleven, Eleven treasures left. Not, not terrible. Level seven, though, man. Big bag. I'm sorry, don't come. even think about it, man. James is in a row. That's right. I think I'm gonna come in the other side. Get over there, exit. Oh no. Okay, oh, things are going good now. Okay. Disappear. Yay! Wonder how fast that bad guy comes in. It's still pretty good. So sweet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa that was lucky. I gotta get out of here. Seem to be moving much faster. Like now this is about the same difficulty. It's just like once you moving a bit faster, but not much. Yeah, basically it's that it's this is the only. Yeah, now you're in like good. Yeah. Is that it? Okay, okay, level eight. Two more to go. Two more levels. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. Atari, I believe in us. <laughs> It's like, oh, I'll sleep. Whoa, look at these dudes. I'm gonna stay, stay well Next away from them. level. Yeah, just Sounds grab good. it, because it's gonna turn into the, the spiders anyway. Whoa! Just get away from me. Yeah, just any of the ones you can get into. Sphinx! Oh, Dragon Room! Oh, damn it. That's what it's called. Is it? Okay. Yeah. They look like, they have wings. But they could be dragons, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I'm sneezing. Sneezing up a storm. So close. So close. So close we can feel it. Ah! Let's go with this one. Ah! Nice. Yay! 
Now for you guys. Whoa. Okay, still do it. I'm gonna get X out the other way. Good idea. No, 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 no! Ooh, oh my god. So fast! The dragon room is tough, man. It is, because they always put one in the top, so it always stays up there. There we go. Ha! <sighs> Oh my! Oh, he avoided my shot. Went. Oh no! Fuck! You were so goddamn close. I feel like Five that's. Off. I feel like yeah, that might be. That's the, a win. That is. That's a high score. Yeah. It's killing it. Great game, of course. The updates are are fairly minor. Um, they're just like little bug fixes that he did. I I couldn't really tell. I mean, looking at the. The list. It yeah. was already pretty damn good, like it when was. we played it before. Very, very it's just, solid. And we were close. Yeah, that's that's definitely my best game ever. Um so yeah, that's lots of fun. Great games today. Boom. Let's get the chat back up. Yeah, let's do it. So thanks for hanging out with us, everyone. We had a lot of fun with the games. Uh we played Robot City, a great update by Thomas Yench. Uh, Thrust26 in the chat, where he's added the two-player. Makes a big difference. He's added man. the different levels, which is fun, because before it was just death. Death. It, it was, you were, like, playing on level four or five the whole time. This was a fun show, because it feels like we played some, like, standard, like, you know, mm -hmm. some real, like, basic, kind of, like, you know, foundational games, you know? Yes, definitely. Like, what a Robot City is, is such a classic, simple process and really yep. so beautifully done at this point i'm so impressed with it the game balancing is really really good now i don't because you can pick your level I, I five not... is super hard one is very easy so you can pick whatever you want i don't even think of that as an atari game you know it's so it's just it's just such a good game it's like mm -hmm. you know you, you think about pong to that it's like holy <laughs> shit yeah um so definitely download that check that out robot city uh, Running Man, that was just a thing I wanted to take a look at, you know, a precursor to Reindeer Rescue. And uh, Venture Reloaded, it's it's a hack that's gone well beyond a hack. Oh my god, it's, it's, it's so good. It's incredible. I um, love I love the world map with the dot, because it's like it's such a perspective, it's very cool, yeah. you know? Yeah, it's fun. Remember back in 2015, Spiceware talked about a couple of ideas for Stay Frosty 3 that took in a different direction. Totally agree. The inspiration has to be there. Yeah, for any game. For any game, yeah, you want to make sure you're going to invest so much time into oh, a game. Oh, God, yeah. You want to make sure you have the full picture before you start it. It's like, what is this game about? What What's the end goal? How does your character move? You don't want to just jump into it just because you want to yeah. make a game. If you're going to put that much time into it, or anything that you're going to be doing, you want to make sure that you have a great vision beforehand. Precisely. Unless you're just practicing. Then it's whatever. Do do whatever. But if you're going to make something that of, of substance, make sure you have uh, have it all in your mind or written down beforehand. Games today look like fun. Hope to see them in store soon. I Robot City looks like it's really close. Uh, same with uh, Venture Reloaded. Holy so I shit, expect yeah, those man. to be in the Atari Age store. Hopefully. I, I, I give those both a this, big thumbs up, man. 2020 at least, yeah. Both fun, fun Huge games. Huge thumbs up. Those are insta-buys for, for me, for sure. Um, so, yeah, you can download both of them and play play them yourself. See if you can get all the treasures and venture reloaded. Mm -hmm. And good, good luck on Robot City Level 5. That's just brutal. Level 4 is doable. Definitely. For, to an extent. Um, I think if we played level 4 a bunch and we're we like used to it, it, then I think level 5 and it's nice to have that scalable end game. I think any yeah. game without sort of a, like a, like a kind of almost impossible stuff to do because yeah. it's so much fun to try to do the impossible. Yeah. Like, seriously, it's so good. And and it's great build up. You start on level 1, go to 2, 3, then 4, and then if you <laughs> if you mastered 4, but it's about the mazes too yeah. on that some mazes are way harder than others so you know you maybe you've mastered some on level four but not all of them yeah um so next episode we've got some games lined up we've got kelly kangaroo and i'm taking advantage of us playing on an emulator right mm -hmm. on, now on stella because kelly kangaroo is messed up and it's from so long ago yeah and they're not going to be updating it 
You can only play it on an emulator because of the line count goes nuts. Dude, how many more shows do we have? Because we're actually almost halfway through November now, and it's coming into December soon. Yeah, I don't know how many shows I'm going to do in December. Cool. Because um, I need to... I'm going away for a bit. Mm -hmm. Plus, I need to do a lot of prep for uh, the awards. Yeah, dude. Um, so I may take a little extra time in November from the show, but... We're taking it at least all the way to uh, December. Okay, sick. Um, so we have uh, one, two, three, four, five shows in November at least. Cool. To go. Well, that might be, that's sort of a, almost coming up to like a little season of, of Zero <laughs> Page. Do you know what I mean? Like it's yeah. like... I mean, I, I kind of view the years as seasons because of the award show. Oh, it makes sense. Yeah, because we're in These season are, two, man. Yeah, this is season two, and then we have the awards for season two. You know, all the great games. Uh, I will finish uh, Robot City. Do you think City. we'll be renewed, James? <laughs> I will finish Robot City not before January 1st. Okay. That's a strange way to put it. But I will not so finish. So he's going to finish it next year. Yeah. So he doesn't... Uh, maybe he's thinking about the awards. Probably is, for sure. Yeah. So it can be going in for the work WIP. in progress. WIP. Yep, WIP. Yep. Um, and then he won't... If he doesn't finish it, he won't be competing against Amoeba Jump. Yeah. <laughs> For finished games. Um, oh, dude, we played some Amoeba. Uh, oh, yeah. The, oh, that was so much fun. Uh, at the uh, retro game night. Yeah, and we played Draconian. Yeah, which is an amazing. Uh, game honestly, as well. those are those are two of the like. That's yeah, good news for Dion. Those are two of the it's two of the best games I play, man. They're so good. Double chance that way. Yeah, you can get the work in progress, and then you can get uh, next year the under four K because yeah. we have an under four K uh, category now to add a little bit more uh, interest into the smaller games uh, because they don't uh, they don't get enough love. They sometimes. don't. Sometimes people look at the big flashy with the great graphics and the splash screen and the multi levels, and they don't uh, sit back and appreciate the 4k just really great gameplay of amoeba jump and robot city and stuff like it's that so true mm -hmm. um so we got uh, kelly kangaroo uh we've got a marble madness game uh which is very interesting and not uh not i suppose is marble madness another marble madness that you can actually play uh hello retro man cave stuck hey, in man. just at the my last moment and then on um next wednesday we've got Primate Plunge. That's the only one I've got. Primate lined, Plunge. Lined up so That's more my far. style right there. Do games get to be nominated for work in progress more than one year in a row? If you've been nominated, you're out. Mm. Um, for that game, you can you for that other, game. You can make other shit, but yeah, it's yeah. that game. And and for finished games, it's like, no, just that year that it's finished, it's out. So work in progress, if you've been nominated, you're done with that. Yeah. And so, it makes so, sense because it encourages you just to finish your game so that then you can um, compete yeah. for the finished titles. And it makes room for more work in progress games yeah. as well. Um, because, you know, they had their chance. You know, Totally. And it's also yep. a little little nudge to go, hey, time to finish. Time to, you time know, to wrap get, it up. Time to get it done. <laughs> you know, yep. it's got to happen at some point. Oh, and I got my tennis patch on uh, oh, last congrats, Friday, which dude. is great. I got on the, the slow version, but there's no differentiation to get the patch. Um, so thanks everybody for tuning in. Oh, Robo Mechanic. Oh yes. I don't know if that's going to be finished this year or not. I, I don't know. Thrust more. A... You know more than us. Yeah, uh, dude. Because you're helping them out with uh, squeezing the data in. Uh, Thrust twenty six. Retro Man Cave. Nathan Strum. Dinoid seventy seven. Thanks for jumping in. The last. McAllister. Uh, Nathan Strum. I think. I suppose. To, uh, um. um no, there's more people back here. RC70, mm -hmm. uh, Carl G, Paper, Paper Mario, Mario, Dios Kilos 80, uh, uh, Mr. Cookie. Hey, Mr. Mr. Cookie. Mr. Cookie at 23. Mr. Cookiet. Imp Cookiet. Impaler 26. Uh, I know there's more. A Ronister official. Thanks for jumping what, in. What, PH4 was around at one point? He was. I don't see him, but he was in here. Yeah. We must have missed them, but... Uh, that happens. Sometimes these things get... And uh, thanks, everybody, for... Uh, oh, says, uh, do programmers have the option of withholding a game with work-in-progress consideration if they think it will take more than a year to complete it? Uh, you can. <laughs> I mean, yeah, man, you just let us know, but... Sucks. Don't do it, but... Yeah. <laughs> um, you can. You can. I've had requests um, to say don't, don't put it in. But we want to include as many games as possible. Totally. But it's not about the awards <laughs> it's about making a good game 
That's right. Um, yeah, we're just finishing up Retro Man Cave, so catch us next time. We'll be back on Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Totally. And then, um, and then next Wednesday as well. Yeah. So, yes, you can withhold a game from work in progress consideration. You can take yourself out of the awards completely if yeah. you want. Um, I'd rather you not um, because I like to, you know, honor the people that make these Absolutely. awesome games. But I can see the I can see the point from the work in progress. Yeah. It's, it's like, no, it's not. I don't want to enter this as a work in progress, but it's not really entering it. At, like, yeah, it's eh, tricky, whatever. but yeah, you just do what you, you got, want. If you got concerns, let us know. Yeah, we'll do what you want. But we have done that before. Yeah. Um, so tune in on Friday. That's when we're back. Uh, 11 a.m. Back with uh, Darcy. And yeah. back with the cats. And then we'll be back with Erlen on uh, Wednesday. So uh, we had some had some fun today. And we'll have some more fun on Friday at Zero Page Homebrew. So thanks Sounds for good. tuning Bye. in. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye, friends.